Alright guys, we are at UT today. We are at the FIT Institute, Fitness Institute of Texas I think is what it's called. We're doing a DEXA body scan. It's supposed to be the most accurate way to tell your body composition, body fat, lean muscle tissue. Uh, we're going to find out a whole bunch about me, so let's go do it. We're at UT, the University of Texas campus right now, and we're getting a DEXA scan. And Rachel here is gonna be doing all of my numbers today. Yeah, so DEXA stands for Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry. We'll be doing a total body analysis and a regional breakdown of his fat mass, lean mass, and his bone. We're gonna go over his visceral fat and the abdomen. We'll do a bone density scan, but it's not gonna be something diagnostic, just a screening. This is a great way to track our changes, especially for starting something. We wanna track that fat loss, lean mass gain, and get to that healthier percent body fat. Sounds good, let's do it. Do we have a guesstimate? Isaac, what, what body fat percentage do you think I'm at right now? Yeah, I'm gonna say you're probably 15, 16. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'll cut you the check later. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, my gut is like, I'm like 18. 18, okay. But we'll see. So 18% is what we're going on our guesstimate. We'll see how that plays out. So what's gonna happen is this bar above you is just gonna glide past you once. You'll be able to blink, breathe normally. Once it's past your head, I'll let you know so we can talk, learn more about you, and then I'll let you know it's past those fingertips. So if you need to move those arms, you can. Just relax. All right, we are all good to go. You can swing your legs around and sit on up. So on the left hand side, we're gonna have your bones. The more white, the more dense. So we got a nice big dense white head, right? To yeah. protect the brain. Lower part of your body is constantly being overloaded by the upper part, so it's gonna be a lot more dense. That yellow orange is gonna be your lean mass, which is not only muscle, but it's also ligaments, tendons, digestive system, blood, water. And then red is gonna be your fat. Okay. What we do is we pick the results, and then we're gonna get our percent body fat. Okay. Dun dun dun. dun dun dun! All right, so I'm at, I think, 23% body fat. Uh, that's higher than I thought I was going to be. So now I have to do some self-reflection and really look at myself in the mirror. I'm interested to see the breakdown on like different sections. That's what we're going to do next. All right, so this is your baseline okay. here. So on the top, you're going to see your step on scale weight and then your DEXA weight here. Okay. Just very slightly, it's a different type of scale. Okay. This one's going to be the most accurate getting the density of every tissue. Okay. Out of that total mass, we have your fat mass here in red, which is that red down here. We have your lean mass in green with that with that yellow and orange. And then your BMC, this is saying that your bones, your whole skeleton weighs 8.2 pounds. What's more important is your density. We'll go over that later. And then here's today's total percent body fat okay. at 23.1. Any questions with total before we go to your region? What's the, what's the average skeleton weight? So for women, it's four to seven, and then for men, it's five to nine. Not that I think bones are heavy, but I would assume that would be like way more. Yeah, Like yeah, in my yeah. head, like, like I've got like more structure, <laughs> no? Just eight uh, pounds. Yeah. Going over your regions, I kind of showed you over there on the computer, but again, we have both of your arms weighing this much, both of your legs, your trunk, it's gonna have the most mass because it's the most surface area your android. Now this is very common. Men are always going to be leaner in their extremities. Your leanest being at your legs at 17.4, followed by your hips 19.5, arms at 20. We'll have your trunk at 28.7 and then your abdomen at 30.5. So right now, comparing your visceral fat to men between the ages of 20 and 40, you're at the 25th percentile. So our goal is to be into a higher percentile and decreasing our visceral fat. Now how do we lower visceral fat? Number one, just losing body fat. Number two, decreasing sugar, alcohol, and processed foods. Mm -hmm. Not eliminating them because we still have to celebrate life. And then finally, number three is going to be cortisol levels. So stress in the body. So number one thing is sleep. Yeah. Um, 
So oh trying to get seven to eight hours of sleep, but of course doing things that make you de-stress, such as exercise, Sudoku puzzles, whatever that makes you relax, Sudoku. socialize. <laughs> so when we compare your bones and compare them to the average 30-year-old male, you are 2.4 standard deviations above the norm. So really good. So not any red flag of your bone density. The only two things that you can keep doing is strength training to keep them strong and then getting enough calcium and vitamin D in your diet. Yep. Okay. So our goal for you is to maintain this lean mass or increase it, you know, two to six pounds and then trying to get to that 19. Okay. All right, this is good. This okay. is, uh, got some work to do. <laughs> All right guys, so we just did the DEXA body scan at the Fitness Institute of Texas. I'm at like 23% body fat. Gotta say that is definitely higher than I thought I was gonna be. So uh, there's work to do, uh, but you can't, can't dispute the facts. And uh, apparently 23%, a lot of work to do. So that's it for this video guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys are interested in DEXA, I will have a couple resources uh, linked below in the video so you can check it out on yourself. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.